Welcome to our F1 2024 Brazilian Grand Prix predictions. I'm Saga and I'm joined in once again by Captain HX. Let's go! Heck yeah! Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm so excited as well. It's one of the best weekends on the calendar. It's one of the best tracks on the calendar. It's always delivers. Brazil is amazing. And we're very excited for this one. Let's get to. <laughs> to be fair, I think mine as well. I think Brazil second is probably Austria and third is uh, Coda. I think those are my three top three tracks. Yeah, correct. Yep, not just penalties, but the weather is looking very interesting indeed, because uh, uh, Friday should be dry, but Saturday, I think there's like a 50% chance of rain. For Sunday, it's 70%. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's uh, the darkness. <laughs> yeah, it was, that was an highlight. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I was, I was terrified, to be fair. I think it was, it was a lot of lot of wind but there was no rain for uh for like 10 minutes after darkness came in i think the the drivers got in the laps before the rain came came out and we said the first first run of uh, laps decided the order i think i think max was on the pole position last time yeah yeah the the, the grandstand roof collapsed and luckily i think no one was hurt uh, as far, as far as I remember, um, yeah, it was, it was an eventful qualifying and to be fair, the entire weekend was, uh, as uh, maybe apart from the fight for the lead, cause that was settled in turn one. Uh, but yeah, um, we had an amazing scrap between Alonso and Perez for the podium in the final few laps. I mean, Interlagos is great for wheel to wheel racing and I'm very excited. It was just, just super excited for this. Okay. Um, penalties. Uh, I only know one driver, Max Verstappen, getting a five place free penalty for a change in his ICE. So is he's not changing? He's not changing all the other components, which may be a race. I mean, imagine the mechanical DNF and Qatar and a huge point swing in championship, perhaps. Uh, maybe I'm just uh, I'm hoping whatever. <laughs> Uh, interesting definitely shakes up the order for the Grand Prix because having Max not in the not at the, at the top it basically makes it just a fight between the Ferraris and McLarens. I think this this track should favor McLaren a little bit more than the Ferrari, um, but I will obviously see because it should have favored Mercedes last year, uh, and they were the opposite of uh, being <laughs> being uh, favored. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 2023 American Brazil wasn't the greatest car, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, uh, uh, want to begin in the predictions? Uh, going from top, from the top, obviously from the fifth place to the, the P1, but we'll get to sprint first, so sprint quality for you. Right, um, I'm going the same. Um, McLaren, a bit quick, a little bit quick. That's uh, that's for sure. Yeah. 
No way. <laughs> it, it may look like I'm copying you, but I also I have my predictions in front of me because uh, uh, I, I definitely not cheating. I, like I, they would make no, they would make no sense for me to print the same predictions as you. But I am not betting against Max for the sprint quality because having he's having no penalties there. And the sprints he just wins them every single time. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was it was twenty eighteen that Max was supposed to win, but Ocon uh, had other plans. Uh, <laughs> uh, 2019, Max obviously won. 2020, we haven't had a race there. 2021, Max led the Grand Prix, but Lewis uh, overtook him. Well, uh, it was a it was a battle. Lewis 2021 uh, had an interesting battle between Lewis and Max. Uh, pretty much every single race. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Louis won that race, but Max gave it a fight. Well, uh, in his own sense, he obviously uh, had to do some shenanigans there. But uh, yeah, Max still had a pace that weekend. Twenty twenty two, that was uh, yeah, that was George Russell because yeah, yeah, Max had the pace to win, uh, but he decided to the. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I probably still had some uh, some. Unsolved business with Lewis and had to crash to, into him. <laughs> uh, that was 2022. 2023 was obviously a domination from Max because uh, that was one of his. Uh... Actually, that was not a streak uh, of 10 races, 10 race victories, but uh, it was obviously he won every single race after Singapore. So it was one of those weekends where he just dominated from the start. Um... Yeah. Exactly. Um, okay. Qualifying. Yours, the five. No, no, P5. P5 first. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're not counting penalties, uh, grid penalties for engine components. That's that's for sure. We only, yeah, we're 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 only counting the uh, the penalties for bleed lap times and so on. Disqualifications, basically. Okay, go on. Yeah. Okay. Um, my P five is Carlos Sainz. Uh, won obviously the last race. Uh, got P two in Kota. I don't think this truck will sue the Ferrari as much. I think McLaren's will be quicker, and I think his teammate also will be quicker this weekend than he was last time. So I think P five for Sainz is very reasonable. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm switching it up. Uh, Piastri P4. Um, basically, the same reasoning, but I just think McLaren will be a little bit quicker. Yeah. 
told me the state, but uh, no, it's a feeling. Feeling one. Interesting, interesting. Wants to be free. I'm having Max and P3. Uh, obviously, with that engine penalty for the Grand Prix, he's going to start a, lower, a little bit lower down by thinking Red Bull. I don't think it's going to be as bad as in Mexico in terms of race pace. I think this track will suit the Red Bull way more. I think Red Bull, uh, in the Max hands at least, can charge for the podium. I genuinely, who's your P1? Because wow, I'm I'm I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, my my P2 is also Charles. Uh, I'm I'm gonna put Max in P1. <laughs> the moment of silence. <laughs> Wow, uh, a Red Bull pole position that well obviously happened in uh, in Coda uh, for the sprint, but yeah, I don't quite feel like Max is gonna be there for pole position. Uh, Lando Norris is my P one, uh, probably the safest pick that I could have picked because honestly, Lando has been in, in, in the pole position like four times in the last six races. Um, um, yeah. Um, Actually, uh, my explanation was a little bit uh, meant for the race itself, but now that I think about it, I think P3 for Max in qualifying is also uh, pretty safe. I agree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to check our board again, I guess. Uh, B5, Piastri, I think, you know, pull behind science in the, in the race. So, yeah. That's also true. Um, yeah, when you mention science, he's the sixth multiple race winner this year. This is a crazy stat. Like six multiple race winners during a, a single season. This is a crazy season, 2044. Uh, we started with uh, seven pole positions for Max and six victories. So. Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, right, but I don't think Mercedes is going to catch up. Maybe, maybe, maybe in Qatar, perhaps. I think that track could, should suit the Mercedes car, but 
other than that, I don't think they're compete. They're going to compete anywhere. Uh, Brazil, uh, I'm not confident in them, especially after last year. This is an evolution of last year's car. Um, um, yeah, P4 for me is science. Uh, kind of already uh, brought it up uh, for the checkerboard, but yeah, uh, science overtaking Piastri. <laughs> yeah, he could be. Uh, who knows <laughs> at this point? Pastry has uh, been very inconsistent. B3 for me. Max is going to get a podium. Uh, sorry. B3. Max or Stappen. Uh, qualifies B3, gets B3 in the race. I think this is a uh, pretty solid prediction for me. Yes. Yeah, Blitzer is only like 20 points behind Norris, uh, way closer than Max is, uh, sorry, the ladder is to Max. Um, yeah, my P2 is also Charles. I think he's going to get a P2 behind Lando. Uh, I think yours. I was also Lando, so I could... We're very similar in all of our predictions. Uh, very, very similar. We, ha we, we haven't been this close, I think, ever in pr our predictions. Yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, fastest lap. I'm not quite sure for that track. I think, yeah, Ferrari is obviously going to be very strong there. I think mean, McLaren is not going to be weak on any single, uh, on any circuit and uh, Red Bull. Yeah, Max is going to be there in, in Vegas no matter what. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll actually change it for Qatar, I think. I think Mercedes is going to be quick there, but that's about it. Uh, pass it. Yeah, it's your turn, sir. Okay. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Okay, this is good. That's uh, uh, just not good. I'm gonna go with. Uh, Lila is not gonna be the fastest lap uh, as long as uh, three other Red Bull drivers exist. They can just pit and land in the end, at the end for the for the softs. Um, I mean, uh, you know what? You know what? I think Perez is gonna get there this weekend. He's gonna get the fastest lap, probably finishing like P13, but. Yeah, he's gonna get it, get it this time. Yeah, probably like uh, same as Ricardo, basically. A farewell with the fastest lap, uh, finishing down outside of the points. <laughs> Very similar for <laughs> fate, unfortunate, but you know. Team. Did it? In Brazil? Uh, I think, I, I mean, yeah, I still got a podium last year, so I don't think they did that badly, honestly. Uh, uh, fair, fair enough. Uh, obviously, I still have a, I'm not confident in them at, at all uh, in Brazil this year. Uh, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. Hmm. 
You know what? I'm gonna go with the. No, no, no. I'm gonna go with pass. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep getting them until they have a bad weekend because has gonna be that consistent. I, if they if they don't get points this weekend and they can finish like P12, P14, I think that's a very safe point there. <laughs> that worked out for you, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think you predicted the Hamilton Grand Slam this year. <laughs> Okay, at least you person driver for me. Um, hmm. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna go for a driver that I don't normally go with. I'm gonna go with Alex for this impressive driver. He has had a really bad run of form. And Whenever Alex gets into this situation, he normally is really struggles to get out of it. We saw in the Red Bull, obviously. Um, maybe this weekend could be another of those weekends where Colapinto just simply beats him, and maybe there's a crash. Also, he he, he, he basically crashed officially crashed twice during the Mexican Grand Prix. Yeah, uh, those incidents were unfortunate, but. He, he did, so still, like, this this can happen, and uh, actually, I'm not wishing him um, yeah. this, but I don't believe Alban will get out of this that quickly. I don't know, I think the, you know, the, uh, the, the, you know, qualified quite well, and the Williams are quite good on this weekend. This track has a big straight, it does have those, it does two big straights, it has loads of corners, so that's what makes it so awesome. Um, for my most impressive team, I am going to go with it. <laughs> okay, I mean, I don't think we mentioned that during the reaction, but our most impressive drivers in Mexico both crashed on lap one. <laughs> yep, uh, and both of them, cr both of them also crashed during the weekend before the race. <laughs> yeah, maybe we are. Maybe I should put Max in. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. bro. That's probably not the not what I should do. I obviously, I'm not. I'm not like. I don't. I don't dislike Max, but I would like competition. I, I, even if it's Lando or maybe Charles, I would love Charles to win the championship. But probably not happening. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would. I would I'd much rather laugh competition than to have a driver win by a huge margin. And doesn't matter if it's Lando Norris who probably sh should be way closer to Max in the in the championship than he is right now. Um, most impressive team, anyways, uh, Toro Rosso. Uh, they did very well last year, and I think this track will suit them way more in Mexico. Uh, they seem to be very quick in the high speed or medium speed corners, not as much low speed like uh, like has. I think Blas is. Has is very quick in low speed and a straight line speed that's uh, Mexico esque, but I think this this track will sit there also way more. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, worked out well, didn't it? <laughs> uh, 
Right. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with Yuki as again. Uh, last weekend I kind of cursed him, but I think this time he will actually prove me wrong and he will have a great weekend, uh, finishing well in the points, closing in the gap to Haas. Uh, you know what? I, I, I actually predicted Haas to remain in P6, but on the other hand, I, I kind of want close fights or the grid because they make the they make the fights interesting because if those teams are fighting for the constructors on track uh in in wheel to wheel racing that's that's very exciting uh in my mind okay uh your extra ball prediction Okay, I mean there. The, ah, yeah, this is print also, so uh, it has to be the Grand Prix, right? All right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with a similar thing. One DNF in the race. So no, no one plus, just one DNF. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> one retirement in the race. <laughs> That's a better one. I'm not doing the same thing, same mistake as last weekend. <laughs> I, I specified it and I lost the point because of it. I, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Brazil, let's go. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be great. Um, already, twenty four hours from this recording, we're having practice one. So, yeah, I'm very excited for it. Okay, that's it. Uh, any last thoughts? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> let's go Brazil. Uh, I what do you what do you say like uh, famos or viva brazil or whatever i actually i don't know portuguese so uh, uh just let's go brazil <laughs> uh, i mean to be for her luis has a has a brazilian uh, citizenship and he's british i mean we can talk english like let's go brazil <laughs> oh easy that's that's great Okay, um, okay, that's it for this recording. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you next time after well, uh, for the reaction for this Grand Prix. It's going to be hopefully very amazing in the entire weekend. I'm very excited. Okay, uh, <laughs> see everyone. Dude. Ajax.